So again, three quarters of the products Intel based. We announced our first Intel products in January, jumped on board some great new technology from Intel. This is Intel, Intel CEO Paul Adelini handing us our first wafer in January at Macworld. And in the first two quarters, we transitioned almost all of our products over to Intel, except for one. <laughs> and that is the Power Mac. Well, today, the Power Mac is going to fade into history. And here to tell us, here to tell us what's going to take its place is Phil Schiller. Phil? Hey, Steve. Thank you. Oh, good morning, everybody. I am so excited. I get to be the very first one to introduce all of you to the brand new Mac Pro. This is the Mac that so many of our highest end customers have dreamed of. The brand new Mac Pro is going to be based on Intel's Xeon chipsets. The latest Xeon chips, also known in the industry as Woodcrest. These are ama amazing microprocessors. These incredible new processors are based on the latest core design, the core twos that, that you've heard about lately, the new microarchitecture. They are all dual core. They run at speeds up to three gigahertz. They have really large four megabyte shared L2 caches. They have a 128-bit vector engine that's even faster now than the velocity engine that replaces in our product lines. And for our highest end customers of features they've really wanted, they're 64-bit. Yes, these are great, great microprocessors. And like the other brand new Intel parts we've been putting into our products, they deliver tremendous performance per watt. And this is going to be really important, not only in notebooks and thin desktops, but even here in the pro space. If you compare this performance per watt to the G5 and even the current Opterons, what you see is tremendous power for each, performance for each, each watt of power. Up to three times the performance in a Xeon that we got in the G5. This is an incredible jump in performance. So this new Intel Xeon chip is an amazing processor to put into our products. But in every Mac Pro, we're going to put two of them. Yes. All Mac Pros, quad Xeon performance. Now, the product we're replacing is no slouch. This is the fastest Mac we had ever made, the Power Mac G5. So let's compare that performance. The fastest Mac ever, the, the G5 quad product that we were replacing, and the new quad Xeons. We're going to use spec int as a performance metric of what you can get out of these systems. And you see it goes from 54 now up to 115. That's a 2.1 times faster integer performance. It's a big jump in performance for our highest end systems. And in floating point from 48 to now 76, that's 1.6 times faster in floating point performance as well. These are screaming fast machines. And the new king of the hill for the Mac is the new Mac Pro with quad Xeon performance. It is twice as fast as the machine it replaces. Now, how about everyday applications that our professional customers use? What performance uh, increases are you going to see there? Well, we've taken a bunch of the high-end apps they use, our customers use for imaging and 3D and, and audio. And what you see is 1.4, 1.6, 1.8 times faster, depending on what you do. So real world major performance increases. In fact, there's an application many of you in this room all use and rely on, and you want even faster performance there, and that's Xcode. And look at that, 1.8 times faster to build your applications. So this Xeon chip is a great chip. And it really hooks up into a system bus with tremendous performance. Each of those chips sits on its own 1.3 gigahertz front side bus, delivering an amazing 21 gigabytes per second of processor bandwidth in the system. And it has a very fast memory system as well. Four channels, 256 bit wide, 667 megahertz memory, up to 16 gigabytes in the system. That's twice as wide as the memory bus in the Parmac G5 and faster. 
Now performance per watt means we need less cooling systems inside the box too, which means we can do more with the space we have. Yes. So we've doubled the number of drives inside the Mac Pro to now four hard drives up to two terabytes of internal storage. And a most requested feature, we've added a second optical drive for our Pro customers as well with all the space we gained back from not having all that cooling inside. And we've increased the front I.O. in addition to the back I.O. So now there's another USB and FireWire 800 joins FireWire 400 on the front. If you look around at the back, we've got four PCI Express slots, all full length now. And if you look at that graphics slot at the bottom, again, because of the more space we have inside, we're able to make that a double wide slot. So if you use our highest end graphics cards, you don't use up any of your other PCI slots to do so. Now we have the best enclosure in the business. This is a beautiful enclosure design. On the outside, it has all the same benefits as before. Inside, it's entirely new. So first of all, let me highlight where those four drive, goes, four drive bays go. It has a new drive carrier, so you can insert the drives, up to four of them, without any cables, without any tools. They just snap right in place. And just look at what we can do inside this beautiful enclosure. The Xeon processors, if you remember the G5, they took up most of the enclosure. The G5, the, the Xeons now fit into a nice compact space, gives us room for eight fully buffered DIMMs, gives us four full PCI slots. You see the dual optical drive bays, just an incredible design and beautiful, simple access to it all. So this is an incredible machine. And we've had a lot of fun building great configurations for our customers. And with, the, with the, new, the new Mac Pro, for the first time, we can offer one standard killer configuration that our customers are going to love. So one standard configuration, and it's, a, it's an incredible, incredible config. First of all, dual 2.66 gigahertz, dual core Xeon, so quad, a gigabyte of fully buffered DIMMs, 250 gigabyte hard drive, a great NVIDIA GeForce 7300 GT card with 256 megs of memory, a 16x super drive. This is an incredible configuration. One configuration, $24.99. So a great price point. Now if you think about it, if you think about it, on the previous Parmac line to get into the quad processing configuration of the G5, it was $32.99. So not only is it twice as fast and better features, it's $800 less expensive. This is a great configuration. Now, I know what you're thinking. Apple makes the best computers, but they're usually more expensive. Right? That is a myth that we're going to continue to beat at and bust. And this is a great product to bust that myth. What if you were to compare this standard configuration against, I don't know, Dell? Similar configuration, about $1,000 more from Dell. So not only do we make better products, but they're also more affordable. So let's bust that myth together. Let everyone know it's not true. Now, I said there's one standard configuration, and most of our customers really like to build their own configuration. So we've really worked on tremendous build-to-order uh, configurations and choices for our customers. Most customers go this route. First of all, you can choose what processor speed you want, all quad, two, 2.66, and three gigahertz. So we said you can add up to 16 gigabytes of memory. You can add up to two terabytes of internal storage. You can have that NVIDIA graphics card, or you can upgrade it to a really great HEI Radeon X1900 card. Or if you really want the highest in graphics performance, a killer card from NVIDIA, the Quadro FX 4500 as well. Of course, you can add wireless to it with both Bluetooth and airport. On and on, you can make almost 5 million configurations <laughs> of the new Mac Pro. So one standard configuration, but endless possibilities. So that's the new Mac Pro. It's a quad Xeon 64-bit workstation. And the new Mac Pro will start shipping today. Yes. So now the Mac Pro joins the rest of these great products. And they've all transitioned over to Intel. 
and our transition is complete. We have cut over all of our product lines to Intel processors. We started, we started on January 10th and we finished the transition today. Just 210 short days. And I don't know about you, but I really want to thank our engineering team for doing the impossible that no one else has done to cut over our product lines. So thank you.